Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to install and review the Dinan Zenero beta on my Samsung Galaxy J7 2015 and you can see I was testing the Enigma version 6 and the video will be out soon uh, I will be uploading it soon after this one so uh, see this one and please review it down in the comment section how was the video so let's start with the video So first of all you need to power off your J7 2015 when it uh, gives a vibration like you have to take feedback just press the volume up button the home button and the power button this is the team in recovery Now I will just uh, dim the brightness. Okay, this is good. Now first of all, back go to backup and just choose everything and select storage, SD card or internal and backup. Now go to wipe, Dalvi cage data and system. Let's go back, go to install and uh, I just want to tell you that there are many files and uh, this is the DNA 0, this is the DNA vertical setting, this is the DNA attach with home, system iOS animation, dual settings and DNA 4 toggles add on and DNA LT indicator. This is the main ROM DNA 0. DNA vertical settings is our normal Samsung settings UI. DNA touch with home 2017 so it's the asset launcher because the DNA 0 comes with the K, uh, EV launcher sorry not KV. DNA system iOS animation it will give you the iOS animation so I will choose this one afterwards DNA dual settings add-on so it will give a dual setting row in your settings UI this is a DNA 4 toggles add-on so in it will give only 4 toggles in the quick settings the default is 6 so choose uh, wisely DNA only LT indicator so we get a 4G new indicator if you want the old LT indicator you can flash the file so now first I will file the DNA 0 now uh, you should choose your add-on so I will just choose the system iOS animation I love the EV launcher because it's uh, fast and good now back up PFS so uh, nothing more so let this installation take place, so I will uh, reboot it. So the DNA0 beta has been successfully installed, let's click next. Reboot device, if you don't choose any add-ons, you can reboot directly. But I have choose add-on, that is iOS animation system. Let's flash that one. Now we can reboot the device. So this is a DNA0 boot logo and also we have a DNA0 boot animation that looks cool. So you can see it yourself. And we get the Samsung uh, audio. Okay, it may uh, boot loop once. So this is the animation. It will keep on uh, doing this. The animation will. So uh, let this ROM boot up. Uh, as a phone boot up, I will review this ROM and also we see the entity benchmark. So the ROM is booted up and we can see the EV launcher is really fast. Wow, like hell. It's really faster than the S8 launcher and has a good uh, list view drawer too. We can also switch to the normal app drawer. See here, uh, this is the pixel like, uh, not pixel like, like a fish. Uh, okay, the, I like the list view one, that's really good. 
and when you swipe down we get the home screen now like and swipe down we get here the search bar you can search google and we here are some search top searches like we also get the apps edge okay so you also get this app search with the blur effect and also we have flash the ios animation so let's look upon it so you can see this uh, new animations looking really awesome okay this is a separate app still the animation is looking really good and it's totally fast like it's taking no time to uh, get the animation in here are the toggles green colored also now let's move to the RAM management uh, here it is let's clear all the RAM this is the first boot uh, so I was using this for like uh, half a day and I was getting literally 600 to 700 MB that's good so yeah, we're getting 496 MB like the 500 MB so that's really good if you want to install some apps you can install gaming performance also really good I have played a normal uh, uh, roller coaster tycoon game it's good and see I love the animations like I will do this whole day we get the super SU inbuilt also the gallery icon is inverted uh, like the white is turned into black and we get all these normal icons of the S8 we get the L-Speed Beta, Greeny 5 and Magisk Manager 2 so L-Speed Beta for tweaking the performance Greeny 5 for better battery improvement we get S secure settings and yes the animation works on the, your apps too that's really good you will enjoy this ROM literally I'm going to tell you also we get VLT without flashing anything and this new 4G icon also we see this in the new Enigma version 6 on which the videos will be out soon for both uh, J7 16 and 15 so uh, now nothing more about this EV launcher is also there we can see the EV settings here also okay messing up with okay these are the EV settings you can tweak it uh, if you can you can also add icon packs so that will increase the customization so now uh, nothing more like all normal apps all working thing so I don't like want to show you this is not working this is not working so everything is working let's go to the about phone first and you can see yes this quick settings is the black one and I love this like uh, it will save battery to it because of the AMOLED screen needs black one here's the ROM information DNA Designed for J7, developed by Deepanshu, other developers, yes, Sumit Parth. So yes, this is based on the Nameless 3.5. If you see clearly the uh, Aroma installer, it is uh, written there. Developer country India, WhatsApp link here, you can get the uh, WhatsApp group link. You also Telegram group link. So it's everything available. Now and nothing more about it. There are many various mods. I've already uh, told you what they do and what they change in the system. So uh, you can flash them. I I already given the links down in the description below. You can check out. And now let's uh, do the anti two bench anti two benchmark. Okay, before telling you the anti two benchmark score, I also uh, forgot to tell you about this keyboard, which is really beautiful, and I want this on every ROM. Like see. It's really beautiful. Also, we get this uh, ripple effect is in red color and looks really beautiful. So let me just do the end to benchmark and we will tell you the score now. So this is the score I got uh, 40,835, like nearly 41,000, and that's a good score for the Galaxy J7. As uh, we see, the performance is really good on the EV launcher. So I will suggest you not to flash the TouchWiz Home because EV launcher looks good and is very fast. And also flash the system iOS animation other is your choice so it's not compulsory and the settings UI is also really good so I will suggest that this ROM is the uh, one of the best ROMs of for the Galaxy J7 2015 and let's see if there will be a port for the J7 16 too so uh, this was the video for the DNA 0 ROM beta so I will also make the video for final version which the developer is uh, Telling that he has added AOD and blue light filter. So let's see what uh, will be the uh, add-ons there. So uh, if you like this video, press the like button. If you don't, 
dislike and also press uh, base, uh, give the feedback down in the comment section and subscribe for more videos bye bye bye